Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Y'all pick the right one. Y'all pick the right one. I'll organize 45,000 motherfuckers to be on y'all's front lawn. Monica Cannon Grant is somebody I've written about plenty of times before. She is an organizer, somewhat of an influential person in Boston politics. She is Black Lives Matter, 100%, just a race-baiting hack who's never had a fucking job in her entire life. And her grift is she runs this organization called Violence in Boston. Violence in Boston is a non-profit. Mm. That takes in tons of money. The Patriots have donated to her. Like all these organizations have donated to her because it sounds like she has kind of like appointed herself. She created this in 2017. Basically, whenever the, she follows the scanner and whenever there's a shooting, she's down there, make you know, trying to like put herself in the middle of her, tweeting about it or something like that. It does absolutely nothing to stop violence in Boston. It just basically documents violence in Boston. She's a campaign organizer for Ayanna Presley, who's arguably one of the top five most famous and influential congressmen in the United oh. States. First term, yeah, she was part of the squad. They've even, you know, reached this the, these shores. Yeah, yes. she, yeah, she's the Ringo Star. That's what we call her, the Ringo Star of the squad. <laughs> she's the fourth one. AOC is John Lennon. Ilan Omar is Paul McCartney. The angry one there, Rashid Tlaib. She's George Harrison, and yeah. then we, ours is Ringo. We have Ringo. Ringo. Yeah. So, so anyway, this chick, she's written op-eds in the Globe. They, they, she's been kind of canonized as like the de facto leader of the Black Lives Matter movement in Boston. Mm -hmm. She held rallies in and around Boston. Uh, she, she held one in 2017 when allegedly the Klan was going to come here for a free speech rally. But then, of course, they didn't show up because it was all made up. Uh, 40,000 people showed up for that. 50,000 people showed up for the George Floyd. She has George Floyd protests every other fucking day. She doesn't like Marty Walsh because Marty Walsh is a liberal, but he's not completely radical yet like he doesn't want to completely get rid of the police and shit like that she basically bullied him into giving her a building a 4,000 square foot building that she calls the boss the violence in boston inc social impact center where she basically uses to have her fucking podcast there's a huge grand opening and all these dignitaries come down uh you know city councilors stuff like that all yeah. these people for this so they're treating her She's not some fringe person. She's treated by high society as a respectable person who you would not be ashamed to be no. associated with. Okay. So anyway, Ayanna Presley, who she campaigns for and is a campaign organizer for and good friends with, is running against, uh, has a challenger this time. And her name is, she's a Republican, obviously. Her name is Rayla Campbell. And Rayla is a young black woman, 37 years old, three children, lives in Randolph, right south of Boston, part of the district. Uh, and she's running against her, but she's conservative. Like conservative black women are uh, a, a, a rare find in this part of the world, David. Yeah, and yeah, I understand. Yeah. Right. So whenever it is hard to be a conservative black person in this country, I, I would not want to do that. It seems awful, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, it's, it's one, like, I can be conservative, right? Because... I hate to say it, they expect nothing less from me. It's, like, it's, it's, it's expected. Right. Yeah, it's, right. it's expected. Like, the, the radical left views conservatives as like, not only just, I disagree with you, but like you're fucking twisted and fucked up and immoral and you shouldn't even be breathing the same air as me. Like they really hate you. They, they don't mm -hmm. want you to, they, they view you as just evil. Like you're subhuman trash. They expect nothing less from people like me because I'm a white guy who doesn't give a shit. I call people fupas last, you know what I mean? Like I'm not afraid to be labeled by whatever, you know, you call me as. Um, but uh, for, for African-American women like Rayla, when they become conservative and they express conservative opinions, they get it a million times worse than me, man. A million times worse than me. Candace Owens gets it worse than any. Yeah. Like yeah. or Jason yeah. Whitlock or these people because they're viewed as like race traders. Race traders. That's, yeah, yeah. David Harris is he another guy that uh, David Harris is a good one, and they are viewed with such disdain by the quote unquote black community for having the audacity to think for themselves. I kind of clip some of my favorite parts. Let's watch it. Keep your fucking hands off. And then there's Heffa running against Ayanna Presley. This one here with the white husband. She got a white husband, so that's a big one. Oh, no. 
at some point we're gonna have to have a conversation with black folks who get in a relationship with white folks and then forget that they black all right time out Enough imagine about. saying that the other way around just imagine yeah. I if, love if a white person said that the other way around. What would the backlash be like? I think we know exactly what that would be. I like, think we do. Them. Yeah, uh, the the left, uh, the social justice warriors of the world, they love to say we need to have a conversation, y'all. That's like their favorite thing to say. Hard they, conversations. They, they've been saying it here, and I don't know if you know. Like we've had the conversation several times. We've had lots of conversations about this. We converse about racial issues pretty much on a daily basis in this country. The, the most common topic the, of discussion. But no matter how many times you talk about it, it's always the same thing. We need to have a conversation, y'all. About so now the conversation needs to be about black women. Or black men who intermarry. This is a big no-no. She does not like interracial relationships. Now, in South Africa, 30 years ago, that was called apartheid, and you weren't allowed to do it, and the world hated South Africa for it. Yeah. You know, interracial marriages. It was, the, it was the biggest bugbear. There were economic sanctions. There were sporting sanctions because South Africa said black people and white people couldn't marry. Hmm. Because it, it was outrageous. Yeah. And now right. she, why is she getting a pass on saying exactly the same thing? I don't know. I'll tell you, I feel like she would love being black in Mississippi in 1955. Like she I would, bet. It's, black it, in it, South it, Africa in 1985. Right. Yeah. Like that seems preferable than being black in Boston in 2020 to her. I don't know because she does not wow. like, the, she does not like the race mixing very much. Not a oh, thing. Oh, how? No. So she's going to go on. She's going to expand and explain why she doesn't like the race mixing. Okay. We're going to have to have that conversation. And I know it's going to fuck with y'all nerves. It's going to be uncomfortable. But we're going to have to have that conversation because if white vagina and white penises jeopardize your melanin, then we need you to sit in the back of the classroom and this ain't your part of the show and you don't get to talk right now. And so you practice some self-love, know your history, and realize where the fuck you came from. This ain't your part of the show. We need you to sit in the back. I need all the people that understand what it is to wake up black, regardless of how many educated game symbols you have at the end of your name, regardless of how close in proximity you are to white supremacy, regardless of how many white penises you ride. And I am mad at you, sis, because if you ride in that motherfucker for a credit score, get you that house, boo, get your 40 acres in your mule. Just don't forget that you're a nigga. Hey, okay, that's two N words so far on the show. We're definitely getting so behind. Far, yeah. Um, uh, that is, I mean, what? <laughs> what? So, it just, first of all, Rayla seems like a very respectable woman. And her husband is is white. And I love, one of the most underrated racist parts about this video, David, is the yeah. fact that she thinks that the only reason a black woman would ever have to marry a white man is to fix their credit score, which she assumes is bad. Which is racist in itself to assume right. that. It's like another element of racism that we didn't even really touch in the blog. Like she yeah. believes all black people have bad credit in their only way out of She's, judging, she's saying, yeah, that someone with that skin color would do that for that reason. That's yeah. a racist statement. End of. That's insane. I mean, or, or perhaps this, maybe she loves her husband. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't want to get her credit fixed. Maybe Rayla's... No, credit no, 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 no. It's clearly about riding the white penis. She makes it quite clear in, in her videos. Oh, my God. I mean, I would expect this type of ratchet behavior, I guess. I mean, if, if she was just a regular ratchet, run-of-the-mill ratchet... This woman has genuine power as well. It's right. It's, it's eye-watering. I would argue she's one of the most powerful political figures in Boston. Without now, a shadow of a doubt, yeah. Yeah, so she goes on. She's going to talk about black men now black man but i get it he living in utah he getting pink, pink uncooked vagina i get it i get it what i need you to do though is keep your mouth shut on black shit if you ain't ready to be black that's what oh. i need you to do i need you to shut the fuck so up the only way to be black Marvel. is to only bang other black people okay I'm just and be disrespectful and i'll be damned if i let this 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 Melanin adjacent, Melanin adjacent woman whose proximity to white supremacy is so disgusting, right? Um, be disrespectful to our congresswoman because white folk have convinced her that 
they she been drinking the water i don't i don't know i just white folks have convinced her that she was better i don't know she was one of those um she's an exceptional negro is that what it is uh she she crossed cap like they she thinks in her mind the only way that a black person in this country could mm. possibly feel the appeal of conservatism is if you are just completely selling out yeah but, she said she was melanin adjacent and yeah. and close to white supremacy close uh, translation uh she doesn't agree with me exactly i, I, I want to get this tape in the hands of like donald trump jr or some like powerful conservatives like i want them to play this at the fucking convention like i don't think like, this needs to get out more of this tape like definitely every, this needs circulating people right, have got to yeah. see who, the, who, who who've got the reins of power of these organizations because it's the, outrageous the shock factor alone on this and the absolutely fact that is so closely tied to one of the most famous congresswomen in the united states congress right you know 100%. a rock star essentially and, and and she's making this video on, on behalf of on behalf of ayanna presley assume like she's doing this to help ayanna presley well so she, she is one of her spokespeople yeah right respect the white woman malcolm x would have blew somebody's fucking head off or ordered the motherfucking whatever so she's saying that if 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 malcolm x saw you know white men coming into suffolk county which is where randolph is uh then he would have blown their fucking heads off that's a perfectly normal thing to say perfectly normal. Normal thing to say. yeah violence but, in boston that's violence in boston right there <laughs> yeah and by the way malcolm x never blew anyone's head off he ended up nope. he killed because he was too peaceful towards the end of his life but that's a different story and i get it you've been riding white penis for a while She's obsessed i with don't this. give a shit you and tom chad bill can get it can get it okay to work it and they recognize the master don't give a shit because at a drop of a dime that men was fucking slaughtered her. so she, now she's going to get into the historical aspects and say this woman is a runaway slave or a yeah a house slave in front of them we were raped and had to breastfeed their little ignorant ass kids that build fucking methamphetamine labs in the goddamn basement and then you had the house negro who was so excited about being in the motherfucking house uh, that every time master got sick they're like we sick master and every time Master did something, we did it, Master. And God forbid one of us tried to get away, the house Negro would go, look, they's trying to get away, Master. They's running again. That's what this woman is. And Randolph. That's what this woman is. I mean, this is like, <laughs> that's what this woman is. Uh, literally calling her a runaway slave, which is so ironic, Dave, because this is, th this woman is the runaway. Like she's the one that's running away from the left, from the Democratic Party, and she's being reported. Like, look at look at this one. She's running away. She escaped. No, she can't get off the Democratic plantation. We own her for life. She, what are you talking about? Yeah, I you know I'm not often lost for words, but this. Yeah. Oh, so she goes, she goes on. How to organize an event for our Congresswoman Ayanna okay. Presley because we need this effort to understand that no, regardless of how many white penises she ride, and regardless of how many white supremacists she recruit, and regardless of how many Trump supporters that she support, that at the end of the day, keep your hands off. Okay? Keep your fucking hands off. And then when it comes to our district attorney, Rachel Rollins, yes, I fuck the police all day long. Oh, okay. And twice on Sunday. We're but back we to that now. Okay, yeah, we're back. Put your hands on that black woman, you four white men. Anyone who even disagrees with them, you can no longer have a political discourse. You can no longer have rational debate where people sit down and put point and counterpoint and try and thrash out a solution. If you disagree with their point of view, their definition is you are now a white nationalist, no matter what. You can be, like me, a left-leaning liberal kind of guy. But if you disagree with them, you are a white nationalist. Right That's now. it. Yeah, if anybody else, if, if a Republican congressman or whatever, you know, you name it, had a, a campaign organizer who put out something so blatantly racist in which he wow. said, oh, man, we don't allow our white women to have sex with black men. We don't allow that shit around here. Then it, it would not only would it be, be destroyed, country, but the the congressman himself or herself would have to resign. They would have to certainly issue a statement. The fact that it's been 24 hours and, you know, Ayanna Presley, no media has picked up on this, of course, except for us. Um, uh, the, the media, I mean, that, that's another thing. So we're, I'm going to start a huge campaign starting Monday, man. I want Pete Turner writers, if you're out there. 
get me a list. Okay, that's what I need to write you. Give me a list of emails. I need an email list. I want the kind of press person for every single person Monica Cannon Grant has ever associated with. Joe Kennedy's press person, um, Rachel Rollins. We are, actually already have that. Um, Ayanna Presley's, obviously. Elizabeth Warren's. Go through the list. Give me the Globe email. Give me. I need Turtle Rides to do that because this takes time and stuff like that, and I want to get this done. We, we what about to, who gave her the building? Marty Walsh? Marty Walsh is press person. There you go. I want a fucking list, a database of like a hundred fucking emails that we, and I will write up a, a form email that we will send to everyone, right? The media included asking them and I'll write all professionally and respectfully and stuff like that. Asking them. Uh, if they will, if they will disavow this, because that's what you have to do. You have to disavow. You have to disavow, disavow, disavow. I want them all to publicly disavow this woman. I want her racket to end. So I got more coming on. I got more. Coming.